Hey, what's up, YouTube? So, uh, a team that I think is going to give a lot of people some problems uh, this year is Miami. You know, I would have never thought growing up that we would have, that we would have ever seen the day where Miami had a good team and Florida and Florida State didn't. Um, you know, Miami's four and zero. They've had some really good wins, some some blowout wins. A uh, really good quarterback that everybody thought was going to be really good. I think people have just been waiting on Miami to fall apart like they normally do, and, and they still could. You know, they're 4-0 now, but, you know, they could lose the next five, and here I am looking like an idiot. I don't think that's going to be the case. You know, Miami was predicted by some people to at least play in the ACC championship game at the end of the year. Very very much still a thing. The, the closer we get to it, the more I'm predicting them to win it. Um, and, and looking at the games on the rest of their schedule, which I don't have in front of me, they, they some extremely winnable games, especially in their conference um, from now to the end of the year. And last year, you know, they were seven and six last year, and then they lost their bowl game. You know, I, there hasn't been a one year this quick of a turnaround um, from one year to the next from a team in, in a while. I mean, y'all, you know, Tell me if you if you've heard one, but you know normally it takes you know several years to kind of to kind of get this thing going, and this has been a process for them anyway. But Miami is going to give some people some problems uh, by the end of the year. They're going to win some games that they're not supposed to, and I am not going to be at all surprised if we look up at the end of the year, and you know Miami is um, is the ACC champion. Um, now who they play in that in that game who knows i mean it's you know like i said the acc is a is a disaster right now you've you basically got uh miami you know and then clemson and then you know pretty much everybody else that's not saying everybody else in the acc is trash but there's some pretty there's some pretty bad teams over there um and i don't i don't know a whole lot about that that conference as far as like who's in what division or not so i don't know if you know, a Miami Clemson ACC championship game, if that's even a thing or they're, or if they are in the same uh, divisions with each other. But, you know, it, that's going to be really interesting to see because obviously with this new play, playoff format, the ACC champion gets an automatic berth into the playoffs. And so obviously if they win that, they make the playoffs. But if, like, you, you got to look at the possibility. Let's say Miami at least makes it to that game to the ACC championship game, all right, let's say they lose. Do they still get a playoff bid if they've only got one, maybe two losses on the season, which, you know, looking is probably going to be about where they're, where they're going to be, you know, 10 and two at the worst, to, you know, based on, you know, how they've been playing and the, and the way they look. So, you know, even if they don't win the ACC, do you think they make it into the playoffs? I think that's a very real a very real thing, but like I said, you know, the the more weeks go by, the more I see these guys play, the the more they become my pick as ACC champion. So, what do you think? I, you know, a team like that in the playoffs it is going to catch some people by surprise. You know, they're they're scoring Tennessee points um, in these games. I mean, they they are putting up some some great numbers. You know, and and their offense is scoring a lot of points. You know, and there aren't you know, too many other teams outside of, well, obviously them, you know, in, in Tennessee that are that are scoring that many points a game. And and their defense, too, their defense is very stingy. They're not allowing a whole lot. Like I said, I don't have the schedule in front of me, but I was looking at it earlier. Um, you know, some, some very much blowout wins um, against these teams that they're, that they're playing, especially that week one uh, win against, against Florida, which – Pretty much, you know, a lot of us saw that coming with Florida, but that pretty much initiated Florida's, you know, decline into what has become their season. So, yeah, they, they Miami is gonna is gonna cause some people some problems. They're gonna be a a sneaky good sleeper team um, because they're quiet. They they're not saying a whole lot. They're just taking it week to week, you know, taking these wins as they come. And like I said, we're gonna look up at the end of the year. And Miami's going to be in the in in a serious running for a, for a lot of stuff. Making you know if they can make the playoffs, I see them making a pretty a pretty deep run into the playoffs, especially if they end up ACC champion and they get the first round by. So you know they could easily whoever they get paired up 
with in that second round. They win that game. All of a sudden, they're in the third round of the playoffs. And you can say what you want to. I don't think a whole lot of people had that predicted this year because, you know, Miami's Miami. You know, they've had all these years where, yeah, they may have gotten off to a hot start and won a couple of games at the beginning of the season. Then they just something goes wrong and they completely fall apart and the rest of the season goes down the tubes with them because they can't recover from something like that. It's not the case anymore. It's not the case anymore. That coaching staff has has rebuilt that program much in the same way that Tennessee has been has been rebuilt. And people are being forced to take notice now of of those kinds of things. But just want to go in here and sound off about that. I'll, there ain't been a whole lot of people talking about Miami, but it's coming. Like I said, they're going to win some games that that they're probably not supposed to win. And between them being as good as they are and the rest of the ACC being as bad as they are, you know, it's you know some of it's going to kind of be by default, and some of it's just going to be because they're good. But it's going to be great. It's really going to be fun to see how far they can go because that is that is one proud fan base um, that sh- that will that will show up for that team. You know, when 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 things are going right, when when things are going good for them. So thanks for taking the time to to watch and and listen to me for a minute. Um, I hope y'all been enjoying these videos. Like I said, just kind of getting myself into a groove, you know, talking about different different teams and different games, different things uh, going on. And um, when other sports kind of start coming into season, you know, later on, later on in the year, you know, maybe a little bit of basketball and some baseball in the spring, we'll be talking about that too. And then just some other funny, weird stuff that comes up on the side, like that the video of the girl at the gas station. So check that out if you haven't haven't seen it. She was a uh, she was something. I won't be forgetting her her anytime soon. But y'all have a great day. See you soon.